Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins and in this episode we're going to uh, look at a little bit of the progress on the Freedom 17 canoe and also going to do a little bit of work on the Haven. The Haven's almost ready to go but as cold as it is right now I know spring is coming and uh, I certainly want to be able to sail her as soon as uh, the weather allows. So uh, we will take a look at both projects. On the Haven, I'm actually going to do some work uh, on the transom and recessing uh, a couple of places for the gudgeons to fit in. I've never really been happy with the way the rudder hung. Hang? Hung? <laughs> anyway, uh, in the process, I uh, did fashion a mallet for my chisels, and it was just an odd piece of wood that I had, and it turns out it's a whale mallet. Well, keep watching. You'll see what I mean. All right. Uh, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I uh, would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. That helps support us. And uh, so anyway... Glad you're here. Let's jump in and uh, look at a late winter boat shop update. Snowing like mad. Got all this Arctic air coming in. It'll be cold for the next week or better. Well, that means it's perfect boat building weather. So here we are in the shop. And working on the canoe, the 17 foot Freedom. And uh, we've gotten into some kind of creative clamping. Uh, you can see I've got this long clamp here, holding down a piece that's coming in here. It's just like that one, except coming from the other side. And I was having a hard time getting it to lay down the way I wanted to. So I took this bungee cord clamp that down and push push that part down a lot of tape tape still works great we're really moving on this thing it's coming along just great we're almost to a point where i think we're going to be able to start just using 16 foot strips and not have to scarf them um, you can see a scarf joint here And uh, this isn't too difficult at the stem for clamping, but uh, just coming in at kind of odd angles. So the only other thing that we've kind of had to pay attention to is making sure that we've got our stem trimmed down the way we want it so that the planks will lay, lay fair on there. Overall though, looking pretty good. Dogs are taking advantage of the nice warm floor. All right, well, I'm waiting for the um, a strip for the glue to dry on the canoe, so I'm over here working on the Haven a little bit. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, that subscribe to the channel have been anxiously awaiting to see some more work on, on this boat. Um, we took and sanded down this epoxy that's over here, and I think I'm going to get a little bit of the total boat fairing compound and just kind of go in here. It's, it's actually pretty smooth. There's a couple little places here, here, there are little holes we could fill. Um, I don't know how crazy I want to get with that. The other thing that I'm doing though, is I never could get the, the rudder to hang on here just exactly right. And uh, I don't, you can't see this one. We'll take a picture of it later, but I've got the top uh, gudgel in and I'd gotten these from, from Jim Reinick, and when Jim first saw how I had it mounted, uh, he said, well, those are supposed to be recessed in there. And so you can see these things are, oh, probably um, an eighth, maybe three sixteenths, as far as the thickness here on the plate part of it. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking the chisel and I'm just carving out part of this. The idea is it should be able to sit back in there just a little bit more and it should keep my rudder from hanging up up at the top. So it's 
kind of cramped under here, but the floor is really warm, so I'm good. I made myself a mallet. I had a piece of old piece of white oak laying around. It's kind of funky shaped. It's a whale mallet. <laughs> anyway, um, we've got to. Uh, Got most of the outline already kind of punched in here, there. I need to do it there. I had it on here and I had it I had it screwed in there and then I hung the I hung the rudder on here to make sure I was straight with the top one and then I just took a, a magic marker and, and drew a line around the the outside of it so I know where I'm going and uh, so now we're just gonna chip it out of there now this is this is oak as well so it's Tough stuff. We did the top one up here and it's mahogany and it's uh, it's definitely softer. The other thing is my grain's running this way, up and down where on the mahogany is running crossways across the across the transom, so. These chisels are new, I, I just got them. I got them at Harbor Freight, and I, I don't do a lot of work like this, uh, but there was a set of uh, five, I believe, graduating in, in sizes, a quarter inch one, a half inch one, and um, This one wasn't sharp at all, so I, I sharpened it up and it's working pretty good. My whale mallet, I like it. Looks like that top there ought to just pop out of there. But... Oh, I'm into, I don't know if you can see that right there. There's a, I used dowel when I, when I put this together and glued those in there and there's a little piece of dowel right there. It's not going to hurt anything, it's just different wood. <laughs> Curious. You can feel where, see there's a big hump right there. Okay, so this is the upper one and I had done this one previously. Just chiseled out as much as we needed to to get it to lay flush in there. 
really happy with that. And then it would appear that that other one is lined up just right. And I hung the rudder on here a second ago and it is, uh, it hangs on there nicely. So thank you, Jim, for giving me the suggestion and telling me how it's supposed to be. And uh, it was actually rather satisfying work to go ahead and uh, chisel that out of there and get that, get that dude put in there. So anyway, we can get some paint on this thing and then sand it on the combing, the rails. This dude's got to go in the water this year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.